Hello, my friends. Elias here with DJ Construction, your best option. And we are at day five right here at our ADU Construction in La Mesa. So today we already finished the perimeter of the foundation or the all the trench. And we are leveling uh, inside of the slab. We have a couple strings right there on the center so we can have our levels correct and we can add more dirt or excavate a little bit more where as needed. If, if you remember correctly, when we start right here, we used to have a structure existing right here and we found out that we have a three inch main line right here. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna run the, his camera. We want to know where our main connection on the main house is uh, so we can connect there with our new structure. Here's Jerry, my plumber. He's gonna do the camera inspection for us. So uh, this equipment usually uh, comes in a two part process. This is the camera, of course, like you're seeing. And in the point of the of the camera, you have the transmitter. And right here, it has the receiver. Right there, you're seeing like a, a join. It's not, it's not that it's cracked. It's just where whatever you join two pipes together. So right now we are heading in this direction at an angle. And we are right here, a foot zero. Okay. Okay. That's where you're going to get your depth right over there. It sure. probably is going to go down that little hill right there. Okay. You can see the manhole. Well. Directly to the manhole. Uh, what Jerry is thinking on his experience and everything, he's thinking that we're going straight. We're still continuing a straight line. That marker is going to give you depth and it's going to give you direction. I'm not sure if you can you can see the pinpoint right there. It is giving you several numbers. One is gonna be the depth and one is gonna be the direction that it's going. It's very nice. Very nice for sure. <laughs> you have sensors on the whole cable or just on the on the head of the of the camera? So it's on the head. Mm -hmm. That's where that's where you get your um, which allows us to get our, our location and whatnot. Okay. Um, yeah the real it's just that's just a whole bunch of wire so if i if i kink it and i'm like a hundred feet out if i kink it uh, <laughs> right there i lose a hundred feet okay the head goes back so it's, it's okay right. if you hear it get less quieter i'm going away from it that's just one way of telling me mm -hmm. how to find my you hear, it, hear mm -hmm. it getting louder and then we get we have uh see the numbers here as I as I get closer to you, see it says 32, 47. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As I get closer, the numbers are going to get higher. You okay, see? Okay. If I get away from it, it's going to go into the 2000s, okay. 1000s. Um, and then we have our north and our south pole. We have our equator. Then we have our level right here. So there's lots of things that okay. you could. So it's a class of its own. <laughs> I think your point of connection is going to be on that hill, though. For okay. For that top part, ADU. Okay. Yeah. So do you want me to continue to figure out where this is going so yeah because uh, the what i'm trying to to see is where, where where my drop is gonna be to the street right like and i'm not sure that we have two drops on on the property so this line as of now i haven't seen any tie-ins mm -hmm. to it so like this house here is not tying into that line as of now sure but in the direction that it's going most likely yes so yeah we're gonna tie in this the the existing house is gonna tie in or this is going to this is tied into the existing house somewhere on the driveway most likely sure yeah. all right you so that's what tell you where that's at yes okay. <clears throat> on the screen over there mm -hmm. we're about to we're about to tie in okay uh, coming in this direction okay and right now we're right here under this underneath this bush okay basically the the main thing that we're trying to to see right now is uh, make making sure that that line that we already have existing on the adu or on the pre-existing structure uh, is connected to the main house. And for that, he already located the, what is, seems to be a point of connection with the, yeah, with the, the main bridge. house. But we need to make sure in one of the ways that we can make sure that, uh, that everything is tied, tied to the, both lines are tied together, is running water through the, the old house, let's say, right? So 
we're gonna try to open this clean up right here with the holes uh, run a little bit of water and see on the camera if we have a uh, water flow right there so that's that's one way to see it So that's the the water hose it just takes it a second to get there because of a, you know it could be a they're old cast iron pipes it's mm -hmm, a two inch mm -hmm. line it's a branch line that's going to eventually connect to the sewer and then get to this point um yeah just in case that uh the inspector doesn't allow us to use this existing uh we need to know exactly how deep so my guys can excavate and find the uh, the the main the main pipe right here uh, one floor one floor so one it's not not much right here, yeah. well we we have like 10 feet from the yeah, drop that drop feet. right so we yeah. should be fine but uh depends on what he wants as far as being so coming from that adu most likely your best tie-in is on that little hill right there sure yeah uh, coming down the hill not on the top so from where we're hammering mm -hmm. come straight straight down the hill at this angle boom mm -hmm. 45s this way boom and drops into the main floor. okay okay yeah. pretty straightforward five feet I should be a little close to the uh, trailer, oh. maybe down a little bit, but we'll see. Okay, so um, we calculate that uh, we just need to connect right here somewhere around these trees. Okay. Right here, we're marking one, three. Okay. So basically from this point, our bathroom is gonna be either pretty much on the middle of the structure. We're gonna have to come straight right here with our sewage line, sewage line and then go like in a 45 degrees and connect right there on the bottom of the trailer. You can see the green mark. 